Hello and welcome to probably the most exciting review I have ever done and that is of course this thing this thing this thing is um, it's probably also the, the, the best thing I've ever owned um, it used to be Snack Mountain over there but uh, I am beyond uh, excited I, you have seen some of my clips on Instagram and uh, Facebook and I am I'm still at, the, at a loss for words as to uh, how Super 7 managed to bring something from my childhood uh, to life but something that always deemed impossible but uh, we know Super 7 likes to make the impossible things um, and also the things that nobody ever made and that we've always wanted and I can assure you that uh, I've always wanted a proper Thunder Tank and uh, now I'm proud owner of one of five and a half thousand tanks um, I believe that's, that's the number that we made uh, I know on the back of the box or the side of the box there is numbers written on and it's over 5,000 so uh, if, this is, if that's the case then uh, I'm one of a small percentage in the whole wide world that can call uh, this uh, mine <laughs> I'm so happy about it and uh, of course we are looking today at the Thunder Tank so I'm going to share uh, the unboxing as, uh, as it happened because uh, I knew that uh, the moment it arrived that I would have only one opportunity to legitimately open this and uh, capture the excitement of this, uh, this, uh, <laughs> this monster. So uh, I'm going to share some stuff and then uh, we're going to have a look uh, inside and uh, see what uh, this, this, uh, this thing brings to the, to the table or uh, wherever you're going to put it. Uh, this, this thing is really it's massive. It's, it's big. It's so big. So uh, let's take a look at uh, how it arrived uh, on my side of the world and uh, my reactions. Okay, so I've just gotten my tank and uh, this thing is like massive. It's, it's really massive. So I've actually got it here on a double bed, a queen size bed and so these two boxes on, on it is uh, <laughs> Well, showing just how how big this thing is. It is really massively huge. Uh, it pulls one the, the whole bottom half of the tank uh, of the bed. So um, I'm going to take it out. This is this is heavy. This is heavy. I actually broke out the switch just to get it out. So this is the tank uh, in its box itself. That's a comparison. And uh, as you can see, it's like mountain behind it. Uh, Means basically nothing because <laughs> this box is really big it really is big which means the tank is going to be quite a beast and uh, I'm gonna take it out uh, in just a minute but uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like compared to a human and I'm quite a big guy so uh, I think it should um, match those pictures that we got earlier um, which having this in hand really means that those weren't Photoshop. This is really a big thing. Okay, <laughs> here's the tank. This is this thing is is big. It's it's heavy. It's extremely heavy, and uh, it's big. It's bulky. Uh, <laughs> it's massive. I'm out of breath just uh, having this thing. And uh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so bloody cool. I can't wait to open it up. Okay, so here's the inner tray. Um, it actually has uh, the clear lid, the, the glass panel that goes on top and uh, the thundrillium on here um, inside and it's, uh, it's glued on like that so that's basically uh, what this thing is. It's got a nice uh, cat symbol on top. Okay, so I'm at the loss for words because this thing is a lot bigger than I actually thought it would be. Um, it's, it's, it's freaking huge. It's massive. It's beyond massive. I don't, I, I don't think I'm gonna have space for this thing. I don't know what to do with it. It's only bigger than I thought, but uh, right, let's take it out. Well, here it is. Um, it is as big. It's bigger. It's bigger than I thought. <laughs> uh, it's, um, it's as big as it looked on the pictures. That's for sure. I can promise you that. This thing's heavy. It's beautiful. It's stunningly beautiful. I mean, 
Um, just look at that, that logo, that logo there. Um, those, <laughs> these cats' eyes, uh, they're gonna be so cool when they glow tonight. And man, these tracks, um, they feel quite sturdy and nice. Uh, <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm actually at a loss for words. And uh, yes, this, this thing opens up. It does open up. So um, now I'm gonna play around with this thing and take it out, put the cats in and see what's going on. So here we have the Thunder Tank. And uh, the Thunder Tank is uh, it's quite a big thing. So I've had to adjust my, uh, my display platform uh, somewhat just so that we could actually see the whole thing. And uh, it's still not perfectly in frame, but uh, I'll turn it around and show you all the different parts. So here we have the closed thunder tank. Uh, we've got these cargo bay doors that's closed. We've got the front windshield that's also grey. Uh, and if you take it off, this is what it looks like. And uh, you can see there's four holes over there. And uh, they actually are uh, for these areas. Uh, they basically plug in and it's probably just to not let this thing sl slide off because um, this is as uh, at an angle and I think that might have been one of the reasons why this was introduced. You also get the, the clear, the glass version. It, this is plastic but uh, of course it's uh, glass in the show. And then these also plug in quite beautifully. So uh, whichever way you want to use it, just note that once you've got this on, it does uh, hinder some of your uh, display options, especially if you have Lionel inside and you want to put him here with a sword up and uh, uh, you're gonna have to bend the sword uh, to the side, otherwise it's gonna hit the ceiling of uh, the roof. So I'm gonna show you how uh, to put some figures in and uh, it actually is so easy. Uh, these seats uh, are quite, quite lovely, they are uh, very, very small or narrow to the on this on the cushion side uh, not the back side but uh, it's probably just because these figures are uh, have they've always been difficult to to be seated I mean as, as you can see here uh, at the crotch area uh, you're gonna have to open the legs wide to bend this this portion but uh, they actually do go in quite well and uh, it's it's very easy just to put them in and they do look seated so uh, I've got the panther over here and uh, he also just slides in very easily and as you can see I have uh, his hand here at this uh, th the steering wheel uh, kind of thing I don't know what it what it is otherwise uh, but I really hoped that this thing could have been turned but I think that um, I've heard that it has broken off or arrived broken off with with some collectors which is a shame because uh, this is an expensive item so I would have liked this thing to turn so just be careful with it don't force it uh, it does look cool when you when you put your figure's hands on there, um, but it this is this is this is so cool. So like I said, here you've got the sword protruding from uh, the tank, and if you basically want to have uh, the glass panel on, then this is going to happen. It is not going to go in. So you're going to have to bend this and move them just a little to the front, and uh, then there it goes. It does fit in. And uh, you've got it. Put your figures in the front and uh, it looks good. It looks good. It looks funny with the sword, but uh, it does still look good. Here in front, you've got this laser cannon. And uh, I'm going to show you now what the laser cannon looks like uh, from the front. But it does lift up quite easily. Uh, it closes easily. And if you want to have it up, please just remember that the, this jaw here in front, you cannot lift it up if the jaw is up. You're going to have to lift this thing up first and then you can lift up the jaw. Now these jaws lift up, well this one, uh, it lifts up quite with some um, resistance which is very good. I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, it is, it's excellent, it feels strong and sturdy, it will stay in place, it won't fall over. Uh, and there's something that you might be seeing here when I do this and that is there's, there's a little gap here. And that is because of this. So if you want to lift it up, otherwise if this plastic went uh, straight through all the way to here, you won't have been able to lift this thing up and I'm actually not bothered by it at all. Um, I'm going to keep mine displayed like that. In any case, I bet a lot of people is going to do the same. So like I said, this is the laser cannon uh, lifting up. And uh, this, this little piece in here, uh, it feels loose. Uh, I can kind of turn it. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it feels like it should be like a projectile uh, popping out. Has some movement but I don't want to fiddle with it. 
I would have personally liked to have this uh, this laser kind of just move down and up uh, with some kind of hinge over here but it's really not uh, so much of an issue it's still a beautiful thing and uh, this really does remind me of the vintage toy and uh, this color and the style a lot of the feeliner obviously the feeliner is based on the thunder tank but uh, design wise so this is this is cool I do hope we get a feeliner uh, one day who knows here you have the claws. Now, as you can hear, they've got uh, quite uh, a sound to them when you move them. Uh, they're sturdy, I like that. They can go back a lot, quite far. So I actually am surprised that they can go back that far. Uh, these lower wheels, uh, well, the wheel, the wheel section of it, does not go back so far. So uh, you can uh, have them on the ground and then that's the highest that uh, the tank can go up but uh, it, it's really not so much of an issue but it's rather impressive that the tank can uh, have these uh, claws go up so high and uh, it does allow for a lot of space here on the side so it can move I'm quite pleased with this so here's a, uh, an up close of the, the claws uh, the nails on the claws uh, they basically look like the vintage one and it looks like the tune as well so that's uh, cool uh, the wheels in front on both sides, they actually turn and then these little guns inside, they actually do move up and down. So I'm quite happy with uh, how these guys work. They have got also some nice resistance to them, which is excellent because they're not flimsy at all. So just in case you were wondering, inside of uh, these claws, they have got uh, some stuff in it. Uh, I don't know if that was uh, how it was printed or uh, how it was molded or whatever but it does look good it's not just plain hollow uh, I think it also makes this uh, piece a little bit stronger but I'm um, rather pleased to see it it's interesting interesting okay so this is the front and here's the jaw uh, it can open up as you can see and uh, like I said earlier it does have some nice sound and, and resistance to it uh, it's got these lovely teeth here and over here and uh, you can put the figure in here. Uh, who are we going to put here? Let's grab all the Mamra. Put Mamra in here and he fits it nicely. And you can ride away with Mamra uh, in the jaws. Now these eyes definitely glow in the dark. I have tested it and uh, I'm going to show you now what it looks like when, uh, you, switch it, uh, when you switch the lights off at night. So aside from uh, these little wheels here on the side, uh, it also has wheels here. So you put some wheels at the bottom, they turn, and I'm actually very pleased with this because that means that you can, uh, as a result, push your tank on the floor. And I'll show you in a second uh, what it looks like. But this is basically the uh, bottom of the Thunder Tank. Now here you have the wheels and uh, the treads. They are a real proper piece of plastic uh, they're thick and I'm gonna put this down like this and uh, just try and move this around so you can see that uh, when you push it on the floor obviously this would turn this area in here does turn and there are little grooves on the inside can you see that and then here are some grooves on this thing so it does uh, make it turn if uh, it goes around there aren't any grooves on these, uh, I suppose that's how it is, but I'm, I'm quite pleased. This really does remind me of the vintage Thunder Tank. Um, I had one with threads, I was rather pleased with it. Uh, they were quite difficult to get by and there were some uh, custom made ones as well available, but this is what the real thing looks like with uh, Super 7 and it's perfect for your Ultimate figure. So I'm just so happy with it. It does feel rather sturdy and I don't think there will be any issues with it uh, breaking down over uh, the next decade or so. I think it would work for quite some time, especially I'm not going to uh, 
be playing with it and pushing it around on the floor. It's just going to be part of my display. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you push it. And this is from the top so that you can see how it works. Basically it rides like this. And you can see those pairs are turning. It does work, it's a little stiff. I uh, suppose it needs to be worked in, but uh, it does work. So this is what it looks like from the side. When you push it, um, as you can see those wheels are turning over there, and uh, these tracks do turn around. Uh, it's a little bit difficult because it's very hard and stiff, uh, but it works. Okay, so here's the back of the Thunder Tank. Uh, as you know, there's an episode where Snarf actually gets in here. But unfortunately, this does not open because if it were to open, it would be on the inside of the tank uh, because the seats are right at the back here. Uh, it is not really a missed opportunity because I understand why it's like that. It would have been cool. Uh, I do think a lot about the 2011 Thunder Tank where you could uh, open it at the back and store some weapons in there. So that might have been cool if that was possible, but I'm really not uh, complaining. Uh, this still does look like the tank. Uh, unlike the uh, Electrocharger, these uh, exhaust vents, I think it could have been interesting if there was some shading around here, uh, just showing uh, the, the smoke on the edges of here, but uh, I'm not too concerned about it. it. It's something that they could have done. I don't know if you would have liked that. Uh, I'm not bothered by it. It would have been cool though. So these are the cargo doors, the cargo bay doors, and uh, they open up. And inside you've got this beautiful, beautiful, uh, work of art. This is really quite impressive. I love these panels on the sides. Um, they have got lots of little details on, which is so impressive. I'm very pleased with this. We were fortunate enough to have uh, Joe Amaro and uh, Nate, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, Nate, uh, how to pronounce your surname. Birch or Birch, I'm so sorry. I do apologize, uh, but uh, anyway, we've, uh, we've seen these uh, preliminary art that they submitted for uh, Super 7 and it's 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 so surreal to see these things uh, in life I love them they they're not just flat uh, they're standing out a lot of them and they've got uh, proper texture to them so it does look like these things are just popping in your display and I love this so here's the turret and uh, this turret gun uh, can spin around and uh, these lovely handles here, they actually move, which is so cool. So you can have them any way you want. Uh, have your Thundercat stand and hold it, whichever way works. And then this thing lifts up. So as you can see, there it goes. Lifts up, now it can shoot over. Uh, there's one thing that, uh, that, that bugs me, and that's probably the position of this thing uh, in terms of a figure. So you can stand a figure here. There are two little, um, pegs on here but what's uh, worrying is that mostly the males can stand on there I don't think uh, uh, my Chitara has got smaller pegs uh, here's my Pumaira these pegs aren't uh, big enough to fit on there but the males do they work well and if you actually get them on there the problem is that uh, the way you you get them to stand is um, they basically have to like fall back. I'm going to try this now with Tigra. Um, let me just get them on there. Uh, I had to work a little bit better further. Let's go on there. You have to force it. But you see, if you want to have this work, you're going to have to kind of bend him and then put his hands on there. So he will like kind of be in that position. And that is uh, little worrying because if you want him upright then he's shooting in here uh, and he's right up against it so that's that's probably my only nitpick about it but i'm not too too concerned about it it's really not that big of a deal uh, i'm just pleased to get this and it, it does it does look well so the these handles are actually better for, for male hands uh, they're a bit too thick so if you want to use a Chitara or a Pumaira then i would rather suggest that you use their expressive hands and that would work better so if you want to, I suppose, then you could have them stand on the bottom, push this thing down, and then that works a lot better. So it does work if you've got them standing like this, 
but I don't think that they can actually see over the tank. So they might be aiming for whatever they see on this little screen, because there is a little screen, it's blank, but yes, that's probably how they could spot who they're going to fire at. So talking about firing at, uh, I really would have liked to have some uh, fire effects on here, because that really just would have uh, made it a little, a little bit more uh, with action. So it is what it is. I hope that maybe one day Super 7 can release uh, an accessory pack and uh, give us some fire effects that we can put in here and also on the laser cannon over here. So that's something that I don't know if it's gonna work, but if you own the, the Man at Arms from Super 7's Club Grayskull line, then that is something that uh, I really enjoy, that fire effect. And that might be something that could work in here. I mean, there's space to uh, slot something in there. So it's possible, who knows? I really like this, that uh, these actually are cat claws. Uh, I haven't noticed this. <laughs> I never noticed this in the cartoon. Uh, I only noticed it uh, on the design art uh, from a few years back. And uh, this, this is so lovely. It fits in with the style. I'm really pleased. Uh, they really captured the essence of this. Uh, of this tank. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, put your figures in the chairs. It's actually it's quite easy and uh, I know a lot of you might be concerned with Bomaira. Now when Super 7 redid her, uh, this was uh, slits. They added some slits on the sides. So it does make moving her a lot easier because uh, her skirt will go up. So you can uh, just bend her legs and uh, push her down. Um, just remember that these figures don't sit absolutely flat on the chair but uh, it does look like they sit absolutely flat. Uh, that's fortunately uh, just a little bit deceiving which is fantastic because uh, it works. It really does work. Now here's Chitara. I'm going to put her on here and uh, I've already got her set up in a seated position. That really does work. So let's try a male. And uh, I've got Tyra here. Bending his knees. And, uh, Let's see, you know, as you can see, uh, it's quite difficult because these don't go up straight. You have to kind of bend the, the legs a little bit. And uh, that's very well done from Super 7 in terms of um, including uh, that in their uh, designs uh, that they uh, were ready to have these difficultly uh, seating figures be seated. So it does kind of look like he is sitting down. Uh, let's take another one and I'm going to take uh, Linsa here. Yeah? Uh, he's a lot easier uh, to have his legs go up. So let's put him in the back. He does go into the back. Take his arms out of the way. And uh, there we go. You see, they actually they all fit in here very, very easily. Uh, Chitara's hair is a little bit in the way now. But this is basically just a look at the inside as you can see. I wanted you to basically see these dials, uh, these levers and everything that's inside. These wonderful control panels on the inside. I really love all of this. Uh, I do apologize if my hand is shaking a little bit. Maybe I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, but this thing, this thing is such a work of art. This, this is beautiful. I really love what Super 7 did here. And I love that uh, cat is sitting over there. And it really does remind me so much of the show because it's a really screaming thundercats. There's another one. It looks a little bit different and uh, you can see more of the panels over there and it does look like this thing should be lighting up. One thing that I really would have liked um, is for these chairs in front to be moving. Uh, unfortunately they don't. You can't swivel them. They're stuck in place so don't try and, and fiddle with them because you might break them off. I don't know how strong they are, unless they are supposed to be moving. Uh, mine is not moving, they feel quite in place, so I'm not going to mess with that. I don't want to break it. This is an expensive item. And there you go, these are the front seats. As you can see, the front section is really not that big uh, or that wide, but it's because of how the figure sit. And uh, yes, that's, that's your look at the Thunder Tank um, inside. And if you're not happy with this, I'm concerned because this thing is really the most beautiful thing 
I have ever owned. Uh, and I do pray that we get a Katzler from Super 7. So we basically get two accessories with uh, the Thunder Tank and that is the summer flange and this is the first time that we've actually seen a summer flange. We've never had one uh, physically seen before. So this is uh, a cool thing. I like this invention. I'm very happy that we've got this because it's got some nice history, uh, especially with that joke uh, and that reel that came out uh, a while back. But uh, then besides that, we've also got the Thundrillium container and this is unrefined Thundrillium. Uh, they uh, got this from Third Earth to uh, fuel their Thunder Tank and Cat's Lair. And this thing is, uh, it feels heavy. It's, it's actually not as light as I thought it would be because uh, you think that this thing is hollow. It's probably hollow. But uh, this, this is quite nice and sturdy. This, you can feel this is a proper thick plastic and this is heavy. So uh, I'm, I'm happy we got this. Uh, would I have liked the figure with the tank? Uh, I would never have said no to another figure, but I'm very pleased that this is what we got because uh, these are two great accessories uh, that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. And I'm pleased because uh, it shows uh, a lot of world building with uh, Thundercats and I'm very excited to see what else uh, they can come up with. So that does it for my review of the Super 7 Thunder Tank. Uh, I am still, uh, I'm still in awe at uh, this, this beautiful, beautiful piece of plastic. I, um, I, I find myself coming into my office quite a lot and uh, just uh, having a look at it. And at night I switch on the lights and switch off the lights just to see these, um, these babies glow in the dark. And it really is super cool. So um, if you still want a Thunder Tank and if you've been on the fence about it, I hope that this review has persuaded you to go and get one. There are a limited number of them available, if, if any. So jump at it and get it now. Uh, I don't know if Super 7 is ever going to make another one. Uh, if they do, then it might probably be like a battle damage version. I know that the uh, 2011 Thunder Tank uh, was meant to have a battle damage version, but that was not a plain uh, uh, reuse of the, of the mold. There was some change in there, as you know. So they might do some, some changes on the body of it, uh, have some paint effects and maybe replace a part here or there with some battle damage. So who knows? You might have an opportunity in the future. I don't know, I can't say. But that would that would be a great use. I don't think that this would work as an LJN version of it because basically um, this is similar in style. Um, obviously this seats all of them and this is much bigger in the back so this does seat a lot of them and uh, the colors are very similar as well except for that uh, logo thingy on the top which is uh, which never was red uh, well full day if I can put it like that. So maybe 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 we might get a different version but I don't think we'll get an LJ one. Well, no, I'm actually quite okay with it. Um, if they were to make an LJ in one, they'd probably have to scale it to be a replica of that. And uh, I don't think I'd want that. I would rather like the cat's leg. And I'm uh, confident that a lot of you also want cat's leg. So if they can make this and they can make that, then I surely hope that they can try and give us some version of a cat's leg. Uh, but for the moment, I'm over the moon. I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm so happy with this thing. Uh, and I bet you will be too. Super 7 Thundercats The Rest of the Smash Heroes